Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a stamp set that's in the January to April mini catalog. It is the Enjoy the Rhythm stamp set. This one is so fun. We have a lot of music players in our family, some that play the drums, some that play the piano, and some that play the guitar, some that play all of those. And so this stamp set is kind of near and dear to our family. I played with it and had fun making up some fun cards with it. So I wanted to share those with you. I also am using on the card I wanna show you, I'm using the Merry Melody 3D embossing folder. I feel like it pairs so well with this stamp set. So I wanted to show you some cards made with that too. So I'm going to start with, I have all of my, my product kind of already here. I have already um, pre-run through the Merry Melody embossing folder on Balmy Blue. Okay, and then I have a Balmy Blue card base. That's just five and a half by eight and a half. And then I have, this is five and a quarter by four, the piece that I ran through. And I'm gonna show you a fun little technique that you can do to just give a little more interest to this piece of um, paper that I ran through. I'm just gonna take my stamp pad, my Balmy Blue stamp pad, and I'm going to take it directly onto the, the embossed portion of the paper. So I'm using kind of a light hand here, and I'm just gonna rub that a little bit on there just to kind of catch it on those raised embossed parts of that folder. And in doing that, it's going to add ink onto those parts and make those a little bit darker. Just make them stand out a little bit more. Now, just a tip on this, if your, your stamp pad is really inky, you, um, may wanna just practice on a, a scrap paper or your grid paper just to um, get some of the ink off. Mine isn't super inky here, so it works really well. Okay, just like that. And you can kinda see how that makes those music notes in the back just stand right out. Kinda fun. Okay, I am going to stamp on here with my Black Memento ink. I'm going to do the drum set, and I'm just gonna do it in black. This card is gonna be pretty simple. And try to get that as centered as I can. Pretty good, okay. And then I previously stamped You Rock My World, and I cut it out with our circle dies. And I'm gonna grab some Stampin' Seal and we're gonna put this card together. So I'm gonna back that with some black. I'm gonna use just a little piece of this perfectly penciled 12 by 12 DSP. I just cut a little scrap piece just for some interest on there. Put that on the back. And then I'm gonna use some dimensionals to pop this up. And center that. And then my You Rock My World. So simple and so cute. And I love that this could be a great masculine card idea. Okay, so yes, here is my finished card. So simple, so fun, and I love that Merry Melody um, embossing folder paired with that, so cute. So let me show you a few other ideas I made using this product. Here's a few others, another You Rock My World, just kind of a different layout. And I used just the stamp in the background rather than the embossing folder. And then I also colored the drum set, super fun. On this one, I used some watercolor paper and I watercolored some of those music notes 
and then use some Wink of Stella also on my piano here. Cute. Here's a cute one with that guitar. I used some Baker's Twine and made some cute little guitar strings there. And then I thought it looked really cute with that vellum. And then another happy birthday with the piano. It's so fun. I have loved playing with this Enjoy the Rhythm stamp set. And again, that Merry Melody embossing folder pairs so well with it. So if you haven't gotten this stamp set yet, make sure if you do and you want it, get that Merry Melody embossing folder as well. You won't regret it. So if you have a music lover in your life, make sure to share this video with them or get the stamp set yourself and make them a cute card using it. If you have any questions or want to make any comments, make sure to make those below. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.